Consider the, a rectangular box A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H A, B is 5 A, B is 5 B, C is 6 and A, E is 7 Calculate the length of A, C and we need the length from A to C and calculate the angle between EC, EC is that line there, and the base. Okay, what we need to do in this type of problem is to try to identify right angled triangles and draw them out. If we just look at this in a little bit more detail, here we have a what's known as a G-algebra applet, and I'll, I'll put the link to this in the video. So here's my cuboid, okay, and what I want to do is I want to find the length AC. I can find the length AC is from the base like that Look, and if you look like look at it like that it looks like a two-dimensional right angle triangle which I can now draw out. Okay so it's a right angle here okay and I need to find this length here and I know this is 6 and I know this is 5 so I can use a little bit of Pythagoras to find the length AC. So there's a diagram of that. So what you need to do, and this is the most important bit, is to draw out the right angle triangle separately from the diagram. So this is triangle A, B, C, that green triangle there. Mark on the information. So this side is 5 and this is 6. Okay, and then using Pythagoras, so I need to calculate AC. Using Pythagoras, AC squared is equal to AB squared plus BC squared. So that's going to be equal to 5 squared plus 6 squared, which is 25, plus 36, which is 61. In order that's AC squared. So in order to find AC, I need to take the square root of 61, which gives me 7.8102. And then rounding off to three significant figures, that zero will have no effect on the one. So the final answer for the first part will be 7.81 centimetres. It's important though you do write out four calculator values. Right, now we need to find the angle between EC and ABCD. So we want the angle between EC and the base ABCD. So if we go back to our G algebra applet and if I uncheck that one, right, stop the video now and see if you can identify where the right angle triangle should be. Okay, so the triangle that we need to use is this one here, here the blue one. Okay, and I know, um, I know that this distance is 7, and I know that this distance here is 7.81, though it's better to use the square root of 61 because it's more accurate. And the angle that I want to find is this one here, theta. This is the angle that the line AC, EC, sorry, makes with the base of the... Of the of the uh, rectangular box, okay, so you can see it from different angles here. Okay, so going back to this, there's a diagram, and like I said, you should use the square root of 61 for this length here, because then you don't get a rounding error. So drawing out this triangle ACE, ACE, marking on the distances, this is square root of 61, this is 7 centimeters. And the angle that we want to find is this one here, so it corresponds to that angle there, because that's the angle that the line EC makes with the base of the rectangular box. Right, so let the required angle be called theta. This, this is opposite, because it's opposite the angle. This is next to the angle adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. Using Sokotoa, we've got to identify the correct ratio. So, we have opposite adjacent and we want to find the angle so we're going to be using this one toa write down the ratio which is tan theta is opposite over adjacent and then fill in the information so tan theta is going to be equal to 7 so again you should be using the square root of 61 because it's better to use the exact value rather than one that's been rounded off okay so we're finding an angle so to find an angle, we need to do theta is 10 to the minus 1 of 7 over root 61, 
which is 41.8685 degrees, which rounded off that 6 will make that 8 a 9, so that's 41.9 degrees. If we could just go back to this applet for a minute, we can, um, you can actually look at it in 3D. If you click here, and then I think on, on the online version you have to click over here, and then click on the box, you, you can have 3D glasses, and if you put on some red cyan glasses, you can find see the triangles in 3D. Okay, so like I said, I'll attach the applet to the notes of the video for you to look up. Okay, this has been a video to introduce 3D trigonometry. I hope you understand and I thank you very much for watching.